Hello there, Tony Medley once again and a lovely warm welcome to my workshop. Um, I was asked, and I must apologise, uh, about eight weeks ago I was asked by a, a guy called Matthew to um, make a, a lidded box and to be perfectly honest I've, um, I've been looking for something special or something different should I say um, to, to make a lidded box. Um, now I can't take the credit for this unfortunately, uh, I went to a demonstration at our club uh, last week and the chairman, um, Stan Lax, uh, physically done this as a demonstration and it was a littered box, uh, I'll keep it a secret until the end, uh, but it was a, a box with a lid and it, has a, it definitely has a little twist to it and it was so cute so I thought I'll try and replicate it. Um, and all I can say is well done Stan, thoroughly enjoyed the demonstration uh, and it was an excellent result. I have a piece of laburnum, uh, it's approximately six inches, uh, six and a half inches. So I'm going to make it into a round ball, we'll get it into, first of all we'll set it off and get it straightened up and make it uh, about six inches in diameter and then we'll take it from there. I've got the corners taken off, this 38mm is what I said. What I also did was mark the centre, which I should have told you to do, uh, obviously. That's just for the centre of the jig to go in. So I'll set the jig up and I'll come back to you. Right, I've got it down to about five inches now, but unfortunately, there's a very, very fine crack in it there. Uh, I tried filling it in with glue, uh, and I think I'm getting rid of it, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more, but what's more worrying is this um, knot. Um, I think what I'm gonna have to do is try and fill it with a, with a bit of sawdust uh, and super glue, and then we'll sand it down. So. I've got another one at the bottom here, I don't know whether you can see that, but there's another one there. What I also forgot to mention was, when, you, when you're using um, laburnum, uh, it's the same as um, you, that you must wear um, breathing uh, protection. Uh, apparently it's a little bit um, poisonous, or should I say, it, it, does, it makes you feel a little bit unwell. Uh, so obviously make sure we've got some, uh, a full face mask on.
uh, I've covered it with sand and sailor and Yorkshire grit and all we need to do now is just about a quarter of an inch past the centre line is just make a pencil mark just a quarter of the way around oh, sorry I've done it all the way around and then we've got it uh, what we're going to have to do now is part it off and um, we'll do it at a very very slight angle just so that I can sit on the Well, on the line that we mark round, if you put a 50 millimeter pencil mark with your calipers, I'll give you two circles. Make sure that they just slightly overlap and then we can put it into the jig. Right, the marks that we've put on with the um, compass and the hole well, from the sharp end of the compass, uh, all I've done is tighten it up with the tail stock so it centres it, tighten it up into the jig and what we're going to do now is take it down and we're going to bore that out, or sorry, take it out with a chisel uh, and then flatten it all off um, to the mark of what we've put on the, with the compass. Now Stan, the guy who gave me the inspiration for this used a 12mm Forstner bit. I've only got a 15mm one, um, so uh, I'm going to have to drill it with that and hopefully it'll, it'll turn out okay. Just drill it about um, two millimetres deep. Right, once you've completed that, if you just turn it round and do exactly the same, do exactly the same as before, we've still got the force a bit in, so what we can do is use that as the centre line. Once you've got it in the centre, then obviously you can tighten the screws up, taking it in turn to do it corner to corner. Right, if you just take a pencil and mark off, I hope you can see that, I'm sure you can, straight down, then half that. It doesn't have to be precise. Then half them again. Right, just with the Dremel, you just make a little cut where we put the mark of the pencil.
to see if you're cutting a little beak uh, which has to be rounded um, if you just put a little notch or mark it with a pencil first and that suffices for it uh, it works quite well all you want is just use your dremel saves you putting a or cutting a little piece of different coloured wood for, as, a, as a beak but that Well, I've got the lidded box done. I uh, hope you guessed what it was before uh, I'm probably halfway through the video. Um, I think it looks quite well with the little mortar board on top. Um, that's the lid. Um, I didn't paint the bottom because obviously it would get black paint around there and it would probably make it that little bit tighter. Um, so it turned out rather well. Like I say, that was the five inch one. <coughs> to be perfectly honest, excuse me. To be perfectly honest, this was gonna be the five inch one and I think it ended up with four and three quarters because I tried to turn it down and then obviously get rid of this branch but it seemed to grow the, the deeper I got into it. Um, it did have a little crack which has been, I've st stabilized it now with a little bit of sawdust and um, super glue but um, I prefer them without any cracks whatsoever. So all in all, um, made a change. And I must apologize, Matthew, that um, you asked me for to, to do this probably seven, eight weeks ago, and I've just finally got round to doing it. Uh, the eyes, uh, if anybody's interested who's in the UK, uh, I bought them from uh, a shop called Boys, and the under teddy bear's eyes so you can get 12 and 15 they're the 12 millimeter ones so all in all thoroughly enjoyed it uh could have done without the the cracks but um i will make another one for oh, in a month or two's time um it's getting to that time of the year uh, and I don't know whether anybody went to make a central last year but it was absolutely wonderful. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I hope uh, everybody's going this year. It's promising to be uh, bigger and better than last year. Um, it's on, on the 11th and 12th of uh, May. I'm going on the Saturday. Unfortunately, I can't go on the Sunday but I'll be there on the Saturday. And if anybody does recognise me, please, I'd, I'd love to, to hear from you. Uh, to stop and chat and obviously meet some of my subscribers. While I'm on, I must thank everybody who's took the time to subscribe to my channel and especially the ones who've made some really nice comments. Uh, I really do appreciate it, it makes it all worthwhile. Um, it takes so much time to make these videos that it's unbelievable how long it takes to edit one. Um, it takes, I don't know, three or four hours just to edit it uh, you get all these bits of clips of, of going on and then you have to edit or cut it and edit it um, but it, it, it makes all the difference when you get such nice comments and what makes it more worthwhile is when somebody's getting something out of it so anyway everybody who's took the time to make a comment subscribe thanks once again anyway if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, give me the thumbs up if you liked it um, and all I can say is I'll catch up with you on the next video oh sorry there is one point um, the jig what I used to make the uh, the lidded box of the lidded owl um, I'm going to put a video I'll put it, as I've just mentioned about editing I've got it all in bits so it might be a day or two before I can get that out but I can, I can assure you I'll have it out within, I don't know, three, four days at the, at the most. Anyway, thanks for watching now. Bye.